Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 77 of Darwell20's Let's Play of FTB Sky's Expert Mode. Hey, what am I doing today? Good question. Uh, I want to see if I can get stripped oak wood in a smartish way. Um, I would like to make more diesel generators, because currently we're not rotating this thing over here as fast as we can be. So if I got better diesel, then I could rotate this faster. If I could rotate this faster, I could produce more off tick without having to expand the magnets and I feel like that would be a smart play. So we're going to try that out today. Uh, so so far I've been off camera crafting a lot of the things I need to craft and, and teaching the system how to make it all. However you need to know how to still make andesite casings and sturdy sheets and I feel like I should I should probably look into doing those only because like sturdy sheets andesite casings we may or may not need a lot of these but we'll find out. Um, so for andesite casings, uh, what I can do is basically say, hey, get any stripped oak logs. I think I'm going to try to teach you, right, with, uh, how, much, how, do, how do we make a bronze saw? So if I say allow alternate recipes in this thing, okay, and then we taught you how to make a bronze saw. Don't you know how to make bronze ingots? Maybe not. Could be cool. One, two, three, copper. I think there's a copper saw, isn't there? We should probably just go with a copper saw. Then we don't have to worry about none of that mess, right? Forget bronze ingots. Forget bronze saw we'll just go copper saw but we're gonna say substitutions enabled right so hopefully you'll be cool and not try to make a million saws that's usually what happens with things like this. Um, so if we said 10 of these, are you going to try to... So you have available one copper saw. I think it's working. Well, that's cool. I'm on board with that. Okay. Okay. That works for me. And then you know how to make andesite alloy because that's a mixer recipe that I just taught off camera and now all I have to do is come over here and say hey you you want to do some automation yes yes you do is the answer to that question and you're going to so to do this we're going to just set up a chest really is that all the chests we have I think like a small number I feel like we should have more chests than that um and then some laser I.O. Okay. And then your job will be to, on the south face, don't I have some more laser cards? I thought I made more of these, but maybe I didn't. No, we're low on silver. That's right. I needed to, I needed to figure out how I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to process ingots. Because we have tons of silver. Well, maybe tons is a strong word, but we have silver. <laughs> we have silver. Uh, is there like a, is there like an AE2, like, keep in stock kind of deal? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what would it be called. Extended interface. I mean, requester, is that it? Automatically keeps items and fluids in stock by requesting new crafts when needed. Has to be connected to an ME network and can be accessed from the ME requester terminal. Will lose its configuration when broken. Settings can be copied with a memory card. Should we try it? Does it look terribly hard to make? Not terribly hard to make. Let's see if we can use this to keep like a certain amount of silver in stock at all times. Is that reasonable? Now we're going to need crafting co-processing units, which I don't think is too much of a problem for us at this stage. And this, you can make all of that. So that's cool. 
How cool is that? I think that's neat. And then you, and then you still need to work, but we'll get there, right? So control click that dude, you have a bunch of work to make things, but we should be able to figure it out. Okay. ME requester, okay. Automatically keeps, blah, blah, blah. has to be connected to ME network. So ME requester. ME requester terminal. Okay, looks like we're cool on that front, but we're still gonna need another ME requester. You're missing Dragonstone of all things. Okay, should we teach you how to make Dragonstone today? Sure. How do we make Dragonstone again? <laughs> we're gonna go, this is gonna be a rabbit hole episode. I can already sense it coming. It's like, oh, we need to make a thing, let's automate it. Oh, we need to make another thing, let's automate that. I can tell. It's it just my 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 inners tell me that this is what's gonna happen. Crystallized chorus chunk um, can either be popped chorus fruit, which if I remember correctly, we have to go to the end to get chorus flowers, right? Um, or we can get antimatter, but I don't think we're quite there yet. Um, right? I don't think popped chorus fruit is like an easy thing to get per se. Unless I can figure out what this thing is, but I suspect I suspect that's an end based because we have glistening chorus fruit. You think I can like convert that back into something? No, not really. Uh, we've got our proto chorus, corrupted chorus fruit grants the curse of no clip. <laughs> that's funny. That's cool. Um. Proto chorus is probably the way we're going to have to go about this then, right? And that's going to be quantum fluid plus mineral berries. Which we can get in a quantum assembler with liquefied source. That's cool. Do we have liquefied source? You know what we can do? We can make sure that we do. We can. We can make sure that we do. Right? Um... What if we just connected this dude up? And what if we said, like, you guys are still pretty cool. I feel like we don't need to worry about that no more. So how about we just, what I'm going to do is disconnect you, right? And then I probably don't need you running all the time, right? Um, I would like you guys to connect. So what I'll probably do is just get rid of my blade. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave this here. Right, but I will get rid of the blaze burner with straw. And then in the future, if I need to do this again, we can do that. So at this point, I can do this. You're going to start filling up. You're going to start producing liquid source. You're going to fill up this buffer, right? But then once you cool off enough, you're going to not run anymore. Okay, and then we would need to put our blaze burner back if we wanted that thing to function. But we don't want it to function right now. The point is, is I want this to be um, a, a, a location where we get liquefied source built up, okay? And what we can do is we can use a shovel and a storage bus, and that would be cool, okay? And then you can tap into this at a high priority. Is that cool? I think that's cool. And then we can cable this down right to there. And channels wise, we are good on that. That's only five channels. Now, if we look at this, we should have source. Why, yes, we do. Thank you very much. Excellent. And if we wanted to, we could probably do something like getting the source into here. But uh, I don't really want to like void excess. I don't want to back stuff. So this is the way we're going to go. Cool. All right. Let me come back in a sec when we're ready for the next build. All right. So now with source being good, right? we can do things. So we want to make quantum fluid with liquefied source and ender pearls makes two buckets of quantum fluid. 
So can I do that? Like that sounds cool, right? Now the trick will be getting the quantum fluid into here somewhere. Um, so what we're probably gonna want is another functional storage fluid drawer system that will be another kind of like transient style. So like add you to here and then lock you. Now that is a recipe that's made in the quantum assembler and that's this dude, right? Yes. Cool. Wow, you are getting full, ME pattern provider. But remember, we can do this is connected. It's entangled. So I could throw a pattern provider on the sides of this if I need to eventually. Cool. Um, so if I do that, we should be able to make quantum fluid start and boom. Cool. Now you have nowhere to put said quantum fluid because things remember it can't be a bucket quantum fluid this is the one that can't be a bucket right pretty sure that's right all right so then you and then you and then you and then you is that cool now can you do fluids because you're currently doing items can you do fluids Fluid module mark one, transfer into router. Range 12. Okay, that seems cool. I think that'll work and then do the same thing. Um, alternatively, I could like export bus out of this or something, right? I could like pull the fluids out. I could pull the items out too, for that matter. Um, if I wanted this to work, you know what I could could do? That I wanted to look cool, but I bet there's a better way to do this. So let's just do this. What if we took you, converted you back to a full block, right? Put all these guys back in here. Is that all right? Yes, yes. I didn't put any patterns that don't belong in there yet, right? I think we're cool. Okay. And then what we can have is laser IO handle on the down. You'll just, um, can I just get like one card without too much fuss? I feel like the answer is yes. Seems, seems good enough to me. So down can be an extract and an insert. And you'll also invert fluids and down will be an extract. Boom. And that should be cool. Yeah, the only problem with doing it this way is I can't actually access the UI of the entangled machine. So we're just gonna have to hope, but the fact that there's two buckets in there now is a good sign, right? Okay. So that's cool. And then um, how are we for mineral? Because I was doing some stuff with mineral. We're like okay with mineral. I've been like playing with this. Like this has been my my mineral doer, right? And how are we for force? We're probably processing this stuff again. Yeah. But oh, we're actually getting low on force. Where is all my liquid force? Oh, it's all no, we're actually kind of low on it. Look at that. Okay, cool. Well, we should probably deal with that, huh? What I should do is export bus force logs or something of that effect. I've been manually doing force logs and I really shouldn't manually be doing force logs. Because I invariably forget and then run low on force. But I can absolutely. Do this.
I'm just a little bit worried about my channels over here. Like, they're not awful, but, like, we're also not great. And this lasts a long time. Like, I do this and it lasts for a few days. Yeah, that's good enough for now. Okay, so mineral berries we're kind of good on, right? And we can always phytogenic insulate more if we really need to automate those. Okay, protochorus is going to be quantum fluid, right? So I should be able to do this. You ready? Check this out. So if I want to automate protochorus, I can put that in my advanced mixer. And the advanced mixer is great. It really helps with a lot of automation. Okay, so if I say I want to do that, he's cooking, right? And if I want like four more, he's going to do the ender parole and the source thing. Cool. How cool is that? Right? We're making the quantum fluid. And then we're putting it in here and making more chorus fruit. Perfect. And then to get crystallized chorus chunks, um, we always get, well, no, we have a 50% chance to one and a 50% chance to get another. So what I should say is two of these becomes one of these, right? And then liquid chorus, we can drying base into um, crystallized chorus, which we can then also, okay, so that's the play. Here's what we're gonna do, you ready? Um, we're gonna say that you come from this, but what you really, say is we put like four in there and that'll get me one of these okay because statistically it's going to be next to impossible that we put four chorus in there and not get one out so by doing it that way we'll always get more than we expect to get and should be cool okay should be cool now you are gonna put that away and then what are you are you a drying basin yes so your power lines are kind of in my way and how am I for channels on whatever line this is so my thermal machine channels are doing what currently six so I can throw like one more in there right I would think auto eject true push to adjacent tanks, right? Now, are you mineral? You are capturing mineral. Do I have some kind of pattern provider dude on you or what? Not really. You would think I do, but I don't. Okay. So I could connect this guy, right? And this warder, I don't know that I ever need him anymore right here. I can probably just get rid of him. He's in my way. Cool. Are you good with me just like getting rid of all of this now? Because I'm pretty sure most of that cobble was for that water that I really don't need to have there anymore. Okay. And then you're six. You're really only using two channels? And how are you guys doing? You're at 24, which I think is all of this. Yes, 24 of 32. Cool. So how about what I'll do is I'll run this cabling here. Okay. And then you're going to auto eject to adjacent tanks. I wonder if I can just put the drying basin right here. Because I do kind of want that mineral stuff. The drying basin is going to be a trick, how we hook that up. But effectively, what I could do, because you're going to make a small amount of that purple stuff, what I could do 
is let you auto eject to adjacent tanks, which would be, get me some more pattern providers, please. The adjacent tank would be the pattern provider. I don't know if he will eject items though. I would like him to. Um, Why are you making quantum fluid in order to do this? Do you need quantum fluid to be able to do this? That doesn't seem right. Can't store contents of quantum fluid from create teleporters. Oh. I thought we were cool on quantum fluid. Yeah, there's a slot right there, quantum fluid. Quantum fluid. What do you mean can't store fluid? Can't store what contents? Uh, no. This, this, this. You're definitely added to that. You're locked. It's fine, though. And then you're, you don't have any filters, right? So why can't you store contents of quantum fluid? Quantum fluid. That should be fine, right? Fluid empty? You're going to be annoying, aren't you? I feel like you are. Okay. So here's my thoughts. For some reason, and it's because it's not really a bucket of both fluid you're going to be annoying. So how are you on channels over here? I suspect fine, because you really shouldn't be doing much, right? Yes. So I think we're going to have to have a dedicated quantum fluid tank. So what we're going to have here is a tank. Whose job will be to only be quantum fluids on an ME storage bus. Does that make sense? And if I don't give you a filter, he's currently trying to find a place to put this. I'm going to let him put it in the tank, and then I will filter on that at the storage bus level. So that will be here to here. This should have quantum fluid in it now, and he does. And now I just filter you to only handle quantum fluid, and now we're cool. I'm sorry, quantum fluid. Sweet. Okay. So now for you, Mr. Pattern Provider, you're gonna go here and your pattern will be such that you do this, okay? And what I'd like you to do, let's have you auto eject false. So now if I say I want some chorus chunks, if I say I want one, He's going to want to make four. Okay. Are you sided, Mr. Mechanical Squeezer? You may be sided. If you are, we'll find out. Dyer always finds out. <laughs> sided. Okay. And then we're just going to need you to extract. Um, and I'll probably do it with laser IO again if I can afford some cards. Yeah, yeah, I can. So on the down, you will extract and extract. Okay, because you have a little bit of liquid chorus here, but don't do the liquid chorus yet. For now, just down insert item and link our wrench dude, and that'll take these things out, which should be cool. I might need to sneaky side this to be the downside. Yeah, there you go. 
Cool. And now you satisfied the crystallized chorus chunk recipe. Let's do that one more time so that I can get buckets of liquid chorus. Okay, so he's currently making the proto chorus we need. He will get me a bucket of liquid chorus so I can go put it in my drawer system. Is that cool? And now you have liquid chorus available. And if I wanted to, I could just like export bus liquid chorus into this or something, but we'll hold off. Well, it's probably going to be annoying about getting it in and out. Um, so we'll hold off for now. But maybe I'll do a pattern at some point. Yeah, I think what I'll do is pattern provider this and say, hey, insert this fluid, get out this block. And the mechanical drying basin, I think that that works. I think I think that would be cool, right? I think so. So let that sit for now. Uh, but one more test of this, right? So we say you start. He's going to make a bunch. And how much we get is a little bit randomized. But we'll at least get one. And that'll be fine, right? And then you're making up what you need to make up. And he only runs one at a time, by the way, because I have blocking mode on him. Cool. And now all the liquid chorus on the down is going to be inserted. And that's cool. And now we've got 1.5 liquid chorus. That works for me. And if we need to void upgrade that, we can. All right, so here's what I'm thinking for this guy. If I had a pattern provider like so... And we had, hmm, actually no, because that gives me no room for channels. Um, correction. If we had a pattern provider like so, and then we had you, okay, so you can go on. Your Y range can just be a little bit higher now. Is that cool? So any items that pop up, but we're gonna filter them and you're gonna be Dragonstone. That's right, you don't have the dragging capability, but we can get one, right? So now he's not going to vacuum it up because he wasn't on the white list, but now he will. Cool? Cool. Alright, so you're good for showing your range now. Uh, you are at five channels. I can definitely run some more cabling. Okay, and now we can set up patterns with probably a barrel. Okay. And then your job will be such that um, we're going to get a um, modular router. Okay. And much like we set up over there, but instead of dropping down, we're going to shoot forward. Okay. So for that, can I place you through the... Yeah, I can. Okay, good. Cool. All right. So then you're going to... Polar module and dropper module, right? So you're going to pull from this barrel That's right. For some weird reason, you can't be flying when you do that. Um, and then you're going to dropper out the front empty blacklist right so now check this out i've got two dragonstone but if i put three of these in here we now have five dragonstone ha ha that my friends is how you autocraft that is super cool 
All right, so now we say Elven Trade, boom. And any other Elven Trades that we knew, need to do, we can do the exact same thing for. We just need to remember to add to the whitelist of what can be picked up, okay? Um, so now that we've got Dragonstone automated, right? Uh, I wanted to make another one of these. Cool. And it's good that we automated Dragonstone because I think we need it for Flux Infused Gems, right? That's what we needed the Dragonstone for. Yeah. And Volatile Substrates equal Flux Infused Gems. I like. I like a lot. Sweet. Okay. So with that fully automated now, we should be able to try out the thing we started the episode wanting to look at. Now that we're almost done with the episode, we can actually try this machine that we've been working towards automating a lot of the components for. Cool. The only thing I wish I could do is speed up um, the machine that makes these. But what I could do is because we know we need a lot of them, we could say, hey, keep 20 in stock at all times. And then they'll be available for use and we don't have to wait for the crafting to occur. So like, hopefully this machine does some good stuff for us, right? Now, by the way, how are you doing? 320. Nice. We actually have a lot of stuff here. Look at that. All right. Clearly something's gummed up because this has been sitting for far too long. So what's going on here? Oh, you've got multiple things going here. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, let's do this and crafting result return. Is that fair? And that should be cool. And I could always throw, like, some better energizing rods here to speed this up if I need to, at least. Okay, that makes far more sense. And then you're unlocked, but that's okay, because we're done with everything after this. Sweet. Okay. And then once you have that all done, presumably, I'm assuming this is all right. Yes. Are you still lasering? Eh, you're making the Ostrom processor. I forget what that's actually made at. Probably over here. Oh, no, we're done. Hooray, it worked. Yay. All right, Emmy Requester, how do you work? I don't really know this model that well. And I should, because it's something I've always wanted to apply to just to be able to do. Like, hey, just keep things in stock for me. Oh my goodness, look at all these things. Toggle Request. It's a very long list, apparently. Amount to stock, batch size. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. And then let's see what this looks like, right? No, I mean, oh, there we go. Sweet. Okay, that's that's super cool. Cool. All right. So I assume you don't really have a scroll. I think you can only do five. And then if I wanted more, I would put more Emmy requesters. That's kind of neat. What did I want for those again? I don't remember why I wanted an Emmy requester. I wanted to keep in stock silver. Yes. Silver. So we can we can know how to make silver ingots. Right? From from over here. Now how's my induction smelter smelting factory doing? Are you kind of filling up? No, not terribly. Right. So what I can do is I can say silver ingots come from smelting silver dust, which we already know how to make. Right? And then we have our smelting factory here. And that goes like that. All 
And now if I wanted to craft you, but wow, we are really low on silver over here, aren't we? Yes, we are. Maybe we should have less osmium kept in stock. Like once you fill up, we'll be fine, but like, here's what I'll do. Right, we'll do this. We'll do, uh, cause you're gonna wanna fill up all that, aren't you? Let's make another one of these. We'll downsize you, we'll do that. Now if only I could trick you guys into going in here. But yeah, what's gonna effectively happen is, um, you're gonna have to like back stuff at some point internally and that should be fine. Right, and then we'll have like three or four stacks or maybe even just one or two of osmium sitting in here because it won't be able to push until it can push because I use it, right? So now if I use up some osmium, it doesn't pull out of there, right? Because of the priority system that works. My goodness, you are not making any osmium or what? Like you don't have a void upgrade in you. We're just getting like, there we go, osmium dust. That's what's up. So then once this back stuffs, we will stop burning through osmium so fast, and that'll be cool. All right, so let's do this. Let's wrap up the episode here. I'm going to hang out for a little bit. Silver, we've got some raw silver, right? So now um, I'm, what I'm going to do is just set up this guy real quick. I'm going to say, um, oh, so this is for controlling this. Okay, I see. So if I had a silver, so if I said, give me one of those, Buddy Crusher will make six dust. Okay. And then what I could do is put this in here and say amount to stock. Oh my, look, look at this. This is cool. So if I want keep 64 in stock, let's do 128 and make 64 at a time. Is that cool? It's currently crafting the requested item. So now if we look at silver, we should see it's crafting silver ingots for us. That's cool. And now it's red because we're missing ingredients. So it'll keep them in stock. That is cool. That is cool. I like that a lot. And I wouldn't mind doing the same with like formation and annihilation cores because these take so long to craft right? What we could say is, hey, keep it in stock at all times. I like that a lot. I really do. Right? So now it's, it's crafting. And I guess you can't change it while crafting is in progress. Cool. So let's say we'd like 16 and eight. Okay, and same here. This will be 16 and eight. And then it'll it'll keep 16 at all times, but it'll craft in batches of eight at a time. Right, so if we check this dude, he should be making eight. Perfect. How cool is that? I like it. I like it a lot, actually. And you're okay over here, I assume? Oh, we're working on Energized Glowstone. Yeah, no, that makes sense too. Did I clip you or something? I feel like I did. Yeah, that's my problem, is I had turned this off at one point for, for, for something and I never turned it back on. So now we're fixed. Cool. Right. And then we'll be good. That's kind of cool. All right, wrapping up here. Double 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. For now, take it easy.